change of pace. <sighs> I told you, it's getting dark already. Ugh. And now the bugs are out. Noisy, disgusting bugs that buzz around and crawl all over and bite you when... Ugh. One goof, my goof. Blech. Ugh. Ah, oh, come on now, let's a hardship spilled character. Want to help me gather firewood? <laughs> Yuck, I think I swallowed it. I'll pass on finding firewood, thanks. I think I built quite enough character for one day. Hmm. We should probably think about food. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. Well. Yes, I should think a little hunting and gathering is in order. Now, who wants to clear a campsite? Okay. So here we are, a little around the fire. <sighs> mm, it's been too long since I had bear meat. Delicious. What's wrong, Lissa? Dig in. Pass. Gods, couldn't you spare us an animal normal p people eat for once? I mean, come on, who eats bear? You're meddling with the food chain. Right, Robin? Uh, Robin? Robin is eating like crazy. Munch, munch, slurp. Huh? Hmm, I suppose a person would enjoy just about anything after not eating for days. <laughs> just eat it, Lissa. Meat is meat. Since when does meat smell like old boots? Wait, I take that back. Boots smell better. Right. Every experience makes us stronger, milady. Even those we don't enjoy. Really? Then why don't I see you eating, Frederick? Me? <laughs> oh well, I'm not hungry. I... I had a, a large lunch. Yes, quite. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah, right, Frederick. And we're all passed <sighs> out on the ground sleeping. Except for him. Huh? Mm, what's wrong, you brother? Forgive me. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you, but something is amiss. Are there gremlins going on? Or is it something else? Define something. <sighs> I'm not sure. I think I'll have a look around. <sighs> I'm not alone. You won't. Or not alone. You won't. I'm coming too. <laughs> hmm. Thanks, Lissa. So we leave the two sleeping people unguarded to go see what's going on. Oh, please tell me what happened yesterday isn't happening today. Is that what you're talking about, Rose? Or not yesterday. Yesterday or the day before. My days are so messed up. Anyway, it sure is dark and quiet. Where did the birds go? Something is wrong here. Well then. Ah! Crom! Gods, what? Uh, what is this madness? Lissa, stay close. Oh my. Lissa, <laughs> run. Huh? I mean it. Go. Oh my. You're setting the entire forest on fire. What about your sleeping friends? Hello? Mom, what is that? What the heck? 
Well, that's kind of disturbing. They're kind of zombie-like. Better stand back. Whatever it is that they are. Definitely giving off that zombie feel. She just probably doesn't have much in the way of, you know, defensive stuff. Oh, who's this? Brains. Don't they? They look like zombies. Who's this? Quite an entrance. <laughs> What's your name? My lord, my lady, are you hurt? <gasps> Frederick, Robin. <gasps> are such horrific creatures commonplace in these lands? No. They're not from Elise. I promise you that. <sighs> no one is injured then? Thank the gods. Mm -hmm. Thank the masked man who saved me. If it wasn't for him, I'd be... Hey, where did he go? Right. We can worry about him later. After we put these things to the blade. Eyes open now. We know nothing about this enemy. Yes. Right. Route the enemy. Nice. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Are those? Right. Abandoned forts. Yes. I see. Then we should take shelter in them whenever possible. No doubt they will offer distinct advantages in battle. That's new. And it's called Risen, so yes, zombie. Zombie, zombie. I know it's a different meaning to the word, but I still love that song. Um, a leader must never rest, never surrender, and most of all, never stop learning. Gained XP. And we've got Robin. I like how the animation of the magic wielder Robin is, you know, holding the book when she's having her attack. That's kind of interesting. Normally you just see them kind of raise their hands or go poof and it happens. It's kind of cool. Alright, so we can get Frederick here. And we can get her a little bit behind him. And then they get their turn. Oh, and I didn't read this after this, I'll read it. If it comes back up. Thanks. Level up. I can tell I've gotten stronger. I can feel a huge difference. Okay, so this is once they make their turn. Oh. Captain Crom. This is Sully. So this is a new character I'll have to look for a picture of potentially. Captain Crom, wait, I'm coming. Ugh, I knew I shouldn't have left him. 
All right, you ash-faced freaks. Which one of you wants to try my lance on for size first? I know just the spot for it. Shoved right up your... Blank. Oh, and here we have Virian. Hold, my lady. Hmm? Hmm? Life may be long, but attraction is fleeting. Would you leave me in your sweet dust? Well, this is like Bastion from the other game. Games. Leave war to the warriors, dear bird. A beauty such as you need wage only love. What in the... The hell are you? Oh. Ha, huh, is the lady intrigued? Of course you are. It's only natural. I am myth and legend. I am he who strides large across this history's greatest stage. Boy, he thinks a lot of himself. Toilet cavalier, yes. Hey, Sinho, how's it going? Wow, this is interesting. The man who puts the arch in Archer. My name, dear lady, is... V sorry, Ruffles. No time for this. Onward. Wait! Virian! Er, my name. It's Virian. Wait, where are you going? Pray, at least tell me your name. I'm, I'm Sully. Sully. And I'm a shepherd. Yes, yes. Sully, how divine, how starkly beautiful name, as befits its owner, truly. Will you marry, my dear Sully? Well, it's a little soon. Hmm. Will I what now? Oh, wait, I get it. This is a joke, and when I put my boot through your face, that's the punchline. Ravishing. I realize my manly figure and noble bearing can be overwhelming. Tis common. So please, don't feel pressure to answer right, uh... <laughs> how's this for an answer? <sighs> Ugh, goodness. But those shapely legs certainly can't kick, can't they? Please, milady, allow me to accompany you, at least. Mine is cold, empty world without you. I shall be your most willing servant, and you, in turn, will give my life purpose. <sighs> ah, fine, anything to shut you up. What? Stop staring at me like that. All right, so we've acquired a couple new characters. He auto healed himself, apparently. And we have text at the bottom of the screen that I have not checked out yet. And it's probably similar to the other Fire Emblem games, but let's just see what it says about terrain. Yes, so, sort of, but he reminds me more of, more of Bastion with the flowery words and his the lady doth protest too much type speech. Anyway, the terrain. Some terrain like forests and mountains will boost a unit's defense and ability to evade. Forts and thrones will even heal units at the start of each turn. Ah, oh, that's right, I did put him on a throne or a fort. Some classes cannot move through certain types of terrain. Got it. So, again, similar. Um, this is, I guess, their equivalent of what I would call the magic bushes in the other Fire Emblem games. Um, so we're standing in this fort now, and we're going to leave it because we need to fight, you know, enemies. And uh, I just want to check. So this is Sully. So let's bring Sully over here. And Sully is a mounted unit with a lance. Mm, probably because of the setup that I have to do for this game. That's what I'm thinking. And we've got Virian the Archer. Goddess, goddesses and gentlemen, might I have your attention? I, as it happens, am an archer. The archest of archers, in fact. <laughs> as such, I attack most effectively from a distance. This is our lesson on archery, if we didn't know how archery worked. So kindly keep me one step away from peril, if you would. So here's the lesson on combat bows. They require you to attack from two spaces away, and you will not be able to counter, which, again, that's pretty standard. Um, so we can get him to here, and he can attack the Risen. Go, go. Huh. 
Rose, are you able to put something on my uh, Trixie do list for me? Can you put uh, Virian and Sully on there for images? Since presumably I'm going to be keeping these characters. I, I don't know that yet, but. Awakening way to balance the classes in this game is non existent. Oh, yeah? I've played the other ones, but I've never played this one before, so this is definitely interesting for me. I'll put him up as far as he can go. Okay. And let's see if we'll bring Robin in. Maybe she can finish this guy off. Yes. I have to say, I kind of like their animations in this one. Um, not used to that because, like I said, I usually turn them off in the other game. And boy, she's hard to get anywhere because she moves really slow. Let's do this guy first. Okay, note to self, Frederick is strong. Of course he's going after her. Please don't die. Okay. A lot of times your healers, it seems like they die immediately. Um, so we've got Krom. Um, first I'm going to let her come up and heal Robin. And then she's going to need to heal herself, but I'm going to let Frederick come over here now. But we still have magic bushes, too. It's the first one I've seen. All right. Let Frederick take care of this guy, hopefully. Nice. All right. We've got Crown. Urgh. Oh, awesome. I'll take a look at it after. For sure. Thank you. I'll bring Sully up and let Sully attack. Okay. And like while you get, let's say, the amount of sword users in this game, eight and only one bow, usually you can make glass. How about Link? Deleted. Which uses swords and only one that uses bow, not combined with this creature. May or may not get. Hmm. So then I assume from that then that there are other recruitable characters like in the other games. And I can't get Virian quite close enough to attack. But I can get Robin. Yeah. I mean, it definitely plays so far, at least battle style and all that, like the other games I've played. Um, we'll see how it proceeds. Like you said, if you don't get a wide variety um, of weapon type characters and things like that 
or you can't maybe make them multi weapons 11 against 2 mm. it seems all the creatures are vanquished this young man took care of the others <clears throat> um i never got to thank you for before so thank you you are very brave thank you you saved my sister's life my name is Krom. Might I ask yours? You may call me Marth. Really? Marth? After the heroic king of old? You certainly fight like a hero. Where did you learn your way with the sword? Yeah, they definitely are. No. But then it's a lot newer <laughs> than, than those games. Uh, I'm not here to talk about me. This world teeters at the brink of a horrible calamity. What you saw tonight was but a prelude. You have been warned. <gasps> What's teetering where now? Hey, wait! <sighs> Not much for conversation, is he? Right. It appears his skills lie elsewhere. I'll wager we'll hear his name again. But for now, I'm more concerned about the capital. We should make haste. Make haste, make haste. Whoa. So, Sin is Marth a character that I would want to add as a regular person on my sidebars? Or is it just someone who we periodically see? Or is that too much of a spoiler? Um, because I don't want too, too many. Um, so yes, this is Ulystal, capital of Ulysses. I've never seen so many people. Oh, this one apparently uh, does not have battle saves. Because I asked Jar about it yesterday when he, or when he was helping me get this all set up. Uh, and he said it doesn't have it for this. So I just have the normal saves. But thus far, they've only given me, you know, half a dozen at most. But I guess we'll see how that goes as the game progresses. I can't imagine it wouldn't be a Fire Emblem game without having eventually enormous odds to overcome as far as enemies versus the number of characters I have. Well, remember that that was a different game than that was. Um, this is for a 3DS, so it might not have that capability I don't know he's the expert on that stuff so I leave it to him if he says he can't be done I believe him um, it appears the capital was spared the chaos that we encountered thank the gods I see no evidence of the great quake it must have been limited to the forest yeah <laughs> I know I, I was thinking that but we'll see how it goes I have no experience with this game, so... Well, that's a relief. Look, the Exalt has come to see us. Oh, the Exalt is your ruler, yes? Ah. Yes, her name is Lady Emerin. Huh? Is it safe for her to walk among the commoners like this? Well... The Exalt is a symbol of peace. Ulysses' most prized quality. Long ago, at the dawn of our age, the fell dragon tried to destroy the world. But the first exalt joined forces with the divine dragon and laid the beast low. Exalt Emerin reminds us all of the peace we fought for then. Mm. With Plesia poking at our borders, the people need her. Exactly, Rose. Exactly. She's a calming presence when some might otherwise call for war. Whoa. Then the Ulyssian people are indeed lucky to have her. <laughs> she's also the best big sister anyone could ask for. So she's their sister. Nice. <laughs> yes, I imagine she... Wait, what? She's your... But that... Wouldn't that make you and Krom the prince and princess of the realm? Yes. You remember Krom's name? 
And not this? You said you were shepherds. <laughs> and so we are, in a manner of speaking. We just have a lot of sheep. Crom, I mean, Prince Crom, sire, forgive my dreadful manners. <laughs> just Crom is fine. I've never been much for formalities. Oh, the prince and princess. That explains why Friedrich. I keep wanting to say Friedrich after like the sound of music. Why Frederick tolerates all the teasing, eh? Because in these games it wouldn't be pronounced normally, it just seems like, but whatever. Indeed. Oh, the sacrifices I make for the good of the realm. Hey. It looks like M is returning to the palace. Would you like to meet her? I want to know, do we still have the other people from the forest with, the, with us? Welcome home. Crom, Lissa, welcome home. Oh, and good day, Frederick. How fared you all? Hmm. Well, we shouldn't have any bandit problems for a while. Thank you. Wonderful. And our people? It's all right. Safe as they can be, Em. But we still need to watch the borders. The brigands crossed over from Plegia. Or Plegia. Forgive me. Forgive me, my lord. My Pegasus Knight should have intercepted them. No. No, Phyla. Your duty was here with the Exalt. <laughs> and besides, we had plenty of help. What? Ah, you speak of your new companion here. Exactly. And zombies, mm. apparently. This is Robin. She fought bravely with us against the brigands. I've decided to make her a shepherd. Oh. It sounds as though Ulysse owes you a debt of gratitude, Robin. <gasps> Not at all, milady. Forgive me. Forgive me, Your Grace, but I must speak. Robin claims to have lost her memory, but it is only that, a claim. We cannot rule out the possibility that she is a brigand herself, or even a Plegian spy. <clears throat> Frederick. Crom? Yet you allowed her into the castle, Crom. Does this woman have your trust? Yes. Yes. She risked her life for our people. That's good enough for me. Oh. Well then, Robin, it seems you've earned Crom's faith. And, as such, you have mine as well. Oh. My lady. Thank you. But thank you, Frederick, for your prudence, as always. Crom and Lissa are blessed to have so tireless a guardian. I do hope they remember to mention that from time to time. Indeed. They occasionally express something akin to gratitude, Your Grace. Phyla, I assume you've heard about the deathly creature... <laughs> creatures we encountered? Yes? I drink more coffee? Yes, my I was up really late last night for me, guys. Yes, my lord. They've been sighted all across the lease. Yes. Crom, we are talking. We are about to hold council. I was hoping you could join us. Good. Of course. <sighs> I think that's our cue, Robin. Come on. There's a place I want to show you.